Hello, K5C. Oh my goodness, do I miss you. Guess what? Let's read a story together. And then maybe we'll do a little project too. What do you think about that? Boy, do I miss you. You know what I'm going to say? Let's pretend that we're inside the library. Have a seat in your place on the rug. And then afterwards, we can pretend that we do checkout. So maybe you have a book in your house. You can pretend to do checkout. Go to the checkout counter. And I'll give it a big old stamp. Boy, do I miss you guys. Mrs. Marish misses you too. Hey, so the book today is Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus by Mo Willems. Let's read it. Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. Words and Pictures by Mo Willems. I thought he'd never leave. Hey, can I drive the bus? Please. I'll be careful. Hey, K5C, do you notice above his head? What is that? It's actually called a word bubble or speech bubble. It's used a lot in this book, so check it out. A word or speech bubble. Okay, I'll continue. I'll tell you what. I'll just steer. My cousin Herb drives a bus almost every day. True story. <clears throat> Wait, before I go on, I want to show you guys something. You see that squiggle above his head? There is a fancy word for that. So when you see that in a cartoon, it, it helps us know what is going on. And he's, he's mad. So just by that squiggle, we can tell, hmm, he's thinking and he's kind of mad. We look at his facial expression. That little line squiggly above his head, that's called an emanata. E-M-A-N-A-T-A. -A -A. Emanata. Emanata. Not empanada. Not those yummy empanadas. Nope. Emanata. All right, let's continue. Vroom, 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 vroom. Pigeon at the wheel. No. I never get to do anything. Ugh. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. Look at his facial expression. Come on, just once around the block. I'll be your friend. How about I give you five bucks? No fair. I bet your mom would let me. What's the big deal? It's just a bus. I have dreams, you know. Ugh, fine. Let me drive the bus. Ooh, there's that emanata again. Oh, he looks mad. I'm back. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Great, thanks a lot. Uh-oh. Bye. Wasn't that a great book? Okay, so let's try our hand at making a little of those emanatas. So let's see. Now, Miss Heidi, this is the first time I'm doing this. So again, I'm okay with making mistakes. So let's see. I'm going to try and make pigeon. I'm going to start with a circle. Go ahead and join with me. I'm going to make a big old eye. And then I'm going to make that eyelid. And a little of his eye. I go ahead and make that beak. There was like one beak and then a little another beak. And then he had a long neck. I'm going to move this up so you can see this. Oops, sorry about that. Can you still see that? Let me, there we go. We're focusing on it. And then, oh golly, the body is not easy. I might just do like... Bring that around, his tail out. 
up and around. Maybe make another little handy hander. It's okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see. Make it his other hand. There's his other hand. Oh, and you know what's so great? Here, I'm going to move this up a little bit. You know what's so great about his feet is his feet are just like, right, 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 right. And then leg, 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 leg. Just like that. Okay, I'll try and get his whole, it's hard to get his whole body. Okay, now let's go back to that emanata where he's like not happy. There we go. Look at how that creates the mood. Isn't that great? All right. That was fun today. I'll look forward to doing more books. And I hope you enjoy some reading at home too with your family and yourself. Take care.